act innocent at five dollars just the uh, small field of seven with the scratching of number three tote to pay one and two only numbers from the yard four naughty thought he's on top from five our norman eight act innocent and seven ornamental bell four five eight and seven we're about four minutes away we'll head upstairs nice and early calling all of the action out of Kalgoorlie this afternoon on Anzac Day is Royce Newton.
in a little bit slow. Likewise with Act Innocent, who goes out the back door with early speed R Norman, and also pushing forward Naughty Thoughties. Paperback Rider just behind them, followed by Ornamental Bell. Calling car just fo trying to find a position trap deep between them. The Chestnut improves hydro, um, Hydroplane, and they will follow to further two, then to Act Innocent. So in the back straight, showing the way it's Naughty Thoughties, the favourite, just ahead of R Norman, three quarters. A further length and a half then to the inside Paperback Rider, who covers up now the inside Ornamental Bell. They were followed next of all by Hydroplane and then came Act Innocent. Last of all, it's Calling Card. So onto the side of the course with 6.50 to run and it's Naughty Thoughties making it a genuinely run race. Shows out now by three lengths on R. Norman who's forced to do the chasing work. Now third, the outside. It is Paperback Rider in company with Ornamental Bell, Hydroplane, Act Innocent. Last of all, Calling Card on the point of the turn and it's Naughty Thoughties giving them something to catch. Out by three and a half. Now R. Norman trying to improve on the fence. Down the outside, Ornamental Bell starts to lengthen. Here comes Hydra playing down the centre of the track. Further back to Act Innocent. Paperback Rider calling card. It's Naughty Thoughties just in front. Inside the final furlong. The outside the danger. Ornamental Bell but Naughty Thoughties finding and Naughty Thoughties goes on and wins a length and a quarter. Second in Ornamental Bell. Third photo. R Norman or Act Innocent who got going late. They were followed in by Hydra playing calling card and last in was Paperback Rider. So the four gets the job done here. Naughty Thoughties and justifies favouritism and a pretty soft win in the end held them at bay with ease and uh, Naughty Thoughties for Helen Harding and Tash Faithful go on and uh, take out the fourth ahead of the seven ornamental bell and improved effort today from the Esperance Galloper so four ahead of the seven we'll just have to wait for third we had Act Innocent coming home strong it was between Act Innocent and uh, Norman the ferny pair of gallopers but no doubt about the winner here there we go number eight's got third that's Act Innocent ahead of the five in R Norman and the six will get fifth that's Hydroplane so four seven eight and five the interim numbers after the running of race number four on the card the four you'll need to be alive in the quaddy. 117.82 the winning gallop a length and a quarter by a length and three quarters the margin as number four Naughty Thoughties takes out race four from Kalgoorlie. Naughty Thoughties trained by Helen Harding ridden by Tash Faithful and that brings up a race to race double for Tash after winning aboard Rosie Capella. And a three year old gelding by Bradbury's Luck from Fontaine's Fantasy, owned by C. Harding, Helen Harding, and M. Capelli, trained by Helen and Tash Faithful in the saddle. Number four, seven rather, has finished second. That's Ornamental Belt for Tegan Clun and uh, Simone Altieri, a three year old epaulet filly from Ramara, owned by Tegan herself, C. Clun, J. West, J. Evans and K. Hawkins. Third in the eight, Act Innocent for Peter Fernie and Andrew Castle, owned by Justin and Carolyn Warwick, uh, the Syndicate. Also A. Glass, Miss M. Moore, G. Martin, T. Nesbitt, Miss N. Moran, Neil Pinner and R. Waddell a Blackfriars filly from Golden Act and fourth in the five there. Uh, Norman just f failing to hold on for a minor place there. Okay, so those numbers, four, seven, eight and five, a length and a quarter by a length and three quarters, 117.82. Race number five is the next on the card, 100 years of RAF handicap over the 1,200 metres, a field of seven, great race coming up as I mentioned before, uh, race number four there and uh, we can look forward to that race number five coming up at 342.